wake up, rejoice. We are ready for the Premier Lacrosse League playoffs. And a season in which all but one team qualifies for the playoffs, an interesting road came to an end, you know, for one team. An interesting road came to an end for one team. And it was and it was a great game yesterday. Great game, you know, today as well. Great couple of games today as well. But first off, my water dogs. Oh water dog fans rejoice. We have the number one seed. We have the bye. We went from worst to first. Great stuff. I'm loving it. So now now these other quarterfinal games, these these three games that will be going on here in the playoffs are going to be interesting. Um, let's start with the um, start with the cannons, and um, you know they, they they got the last spot playoffs, and I mean it's just it's, it's just going to be it's just going to be interesting to see you know what they can do. You know they're going to be taking on. You know, Atlas and Atlas. You know, had had they beat my Water Dogs, they would be the ones. You know, having that bye week. But instead, they don't. And I mean, you know, they're six and three too. But I mean, they're a damn good six and three. You know, the Cannons don't don't underestimate those guys. You know, don't underestimate them at all. They're they're a good bunch. Um, next up is the Archers and Chaos. Um, I think Archers, you know, they really did very well this year, you know, I mean, for the most part, but they have four losses as well. I mean, again, just a very, very fun league it has been this year. You know, nobody really has momentum over anybody. Anybody could win this championship, you know, but Archers is a damn good team. I mean, I'm telling you, very highly defensive team. They they are they are the team that leads in point differential with 24. They're just a damn good team. I'm telling you. They, they, they can play defense. They lost some close ones, I think, but I think they can get past. You know, if they can get past chaos, and I, I just don't, I just don't know. I think you know, Archers is going to be one of those teams in the mix. You know, for I don't. Um, Redwoods and Whip Snakes. Whip Snakes have been down this year. I don't think the Whip Snakes are going anywhere. You know, they're not going to win a third straight title. Thank God. I don't want them to. If even if even if they were to be able to come out and win a third straight title for the PLL, I don't want them to. I don't think they should because they've been up and down all year long. And Redwoods is a scrappy team, though they're really scrappy. I mean, Atlas surprised me, but Redwoods, you know, they are one scrappy bunch. You know, Archers, damn good defense. Water Dogs, really good team. Atlas, also really good team. Whip Snakes kind of iffy there. Chaos, I did not expect the Chaos to be like this. Um, you know, they won, they were four and five. Um, did not expect that. You know, they, I mean, they were, they were in the battle for the longest time with Cannon and Chrome. Poor Chrome, though. They're two and seven, though. Minus 23 point differential. Ugh. So, that's that. Playoffs are set. Championship game will be on September the 19th. First round, August 21st, second round, the semifinals, September 5th. That's a beautiful Sunday, by the way, for some playoff, you know, playoff goodness. Great Sunday for some playoff goodness, by the way. It's going to be great for that. Of course, championship, September 19th, 11 a.m. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun playoffs. I'm going to watch every single game of this playoffs, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to make any more videos until the championship game. Until that championship game is over that night. It will be way after football, though. So, expect that video, like, late, late September 19th. So, yeah, that's, that's that. Um, I know I made a video last week about PLL and about my thoughts going into the final week of the season. And what I've found this week is that, um, yeah, we need to address the span attendance. You know, for, for Albany, it was great. Really great. Really fun stuff. But other than that, um, yeah, PLL's been kind of inflating their fans. 
and just having some bad turnouts of games. That's one. Of, that's one of the things that have turned people off. Another thing is the fact that there is no cities, you know, actual cities for teams to play home games at. It's kind of pseudo home games for a lot of players, but not for teams. You know, that's still the biggest problem with the PLL is that yeah, there is no actual cities to get attached to. You know. Yeah, the third thing is a prop. The third thing that is a problem is this TV deal, man. I've been saying it for months. I'll keep saying it until the moon, you know, explodes. This TV deal is bad. It's really bad. I don't like the fact that, you know, I don't like the fact that the National Cross League has a better deal than the PLL does. I mean, they have a deal with Canada. You know, all you got to do if you live in Canada, it's just watch it on TV. You know, get that TV up, hook it up, you know, put it on TSN 1 through 5, and boom, there you have it. And whatever the U.S. TV deal is, I still don't know yet. Um, PLL with NBC, because Peacock is the worst of the streaming services. They're the worst ones. The Olympics was bad. WWE's been bad. They're putting a Notre Dame game on there, and that's not good. Um, and yeah, it just hasn't been fun. It has not been fun using Peacock. Or even trying to use Peacock. You know, some people have tried, but I am not one of those people that have tried. I think, you know, what the, what the PL has to do this off season is get get some things ordered, especially with some of these players as well. There was some incidents earlier in the season, you know, that really got some bad rep, and it just wasn't fun. The social media engagement has been great, though. It's been great, but you need more than social media engagement to survive. In this world, and, and for people who are like, "Oh well, outdoor lacrosse is lame," you're lame. It's not lame. It's, shut up. Stop being old. There's plenty of other niche sports out there that deserve our attention. You know, you don't have to just sit here and watch the NBA and NFL, MLB and NHL, and potentially MLS as well all the time. You know, there, there's plenty of other sports out there. And this one has my attention, and this one should have yours as well. So we're trying to grow the game, but we need to get things going better, trending better. If we want to grow the game, if you want to grow the game, you gotta do things better. That's just that's just plain and simple. Yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about PLL you know, for the off season and for seasons in the future. We do need to expand as well. I don't think playing nine games is fun anymore. Um, it's an odd number of games, for, in all honesty. And sometimes the weekend stuff did work. Sometimes it didn't. And I'll, I'll leave one more off-season thought here. No more All-Star game. We'll shorten these bye weeks out a little bit because I mean I get it. This year was an Olympic year. There was just no reason that there should be so many bye weeks. Get the playing. Get get some negotiations on the phone and get out there every week if you want you don't need that many weeks off you know you don't need like five or six weeks off you can extend the season out way too long you know so get it together you can do this you can do this in 13 weekends I know you can I know you can you know June you know the end of the college lacrosse season to before you know college football and NFL start we don't need to be stretching lacrosse into it NFL season. We don't need to be stretching that into that. It's like, look at what look at what has happened. You know, obviously the first two weeks are fine for the playoffs. The last week is gonna be cutting into some NFL football, and ain't nobody gonna be watching. <laughs> ain't nobody gonna be watching um, PLL championship on, on, on a Sunday when NFL is on. <laughs> you know, so, you know, it is what it is. With that that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. In all honesty, maybe maybe the PLL will go the city based stuff. In the future, you know, who knows? But we'll find it out when we get there. And that's all I gotta say. Again, that's all I gotta say on the subject. So enjoy the playoffs, everybody. I'll see you in what T minus three to four weeks or whatever. Yeah, three to however many weeks it is. I don't know how many weeks it is. It's like three or four. So when we see you again, it will be September the nineteenth. That night, you know, PLL fans get some rest. It's been a lot of lacrosse the last few days. And you've had a lot of fun with it in Albany. So, the road to the championship begins. Can't wait. Let's have some fun with it. Go Water Dogs. See you soon.